was diagnosed with Crohn's when I was a freshman in high school. In the months leading up to my diagnosis, I had lost about 35 pounds without doing anything. I was throwing up. I was going to the bathroom multiple times a day, and I was kind of just becoming a shell of who I once was. I'm 16 years old. I'm on homebound schoolings because I've been so sick. I haven't really had a day without pain in 13 years, I've never felt well, and we're still trying to get there. For the people that have this disease, it impacts every aspect of their life. It touches everyone who's in their lives as well. We discovered Blake had Crohn's disease when he was 10 years old. Once he got diagnosed, it was really hard on us. My job, I feel, is to protect and fix. I could not fix it. Crohn's and colitis, it is a disease that has no barriers. It affects men and women. It affects all races. And increasingly, there is a concern about how many cases are diagnosed now in pediatrics. Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis are two conditions of inflammation of the digestive tract, and that inflammation will damage our own bodies. And these are very challenging symptoms for patients. When you look at a patient with inflammatory bowel disease, you don't necessarily know that they have it. But in the inside, what they feel is so much abdominal pain, cramping, having diarrhea and bloody stools. And these are symptoms that most people are not comfortable talking about, which is why I think it's difficult for there to be such awareness about it. Crohn's and colitis and the social stigma related to these symptoms can result in very extreme amounts of social isolation which leads into depression. I spent so much time with stomach aches, crying, not wanting to go to school. Being diagnosed was just like a great relief knowing what I had. But then it really set in that like I had a disease, you know, I had something that I would have to live with the rest of my life. Things were really different now. As a parent, to hear that your child has Crohn's, it's devastating. But from early on, Faith was determined to be as normal of a teenager as she could be, and she has a passion for dance, and she just said, I am not gonna let this disease take my passion away from me. There needs to be a cure, and a cure will only be found if there's research that is funded by people. That's what we fight for. We're in really exciting times right now, and the research that's being done, it has an impact on all these other autoimmune diseases because the targets of treatment are very similar. And I think with just a little bit of support, we can truly make a really big impact on the lives of these patients that we're currently treating and patients like myself. We can't do anything without research funding. I'm very fortunate to be a recipient of funding for research by the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. That was one of the most pivotal moments in my career that's allowed me to continue in the research field. Crohn's and Colitis Foundation and researchers in general are focused on finding a cure, but what can we do today for our patients who have symptoms? Passion's the word. Passion with our researchers, passion of the parents, passion with the patients to find answers and find them quickly. And that's why we need your help. The community should support this foundation because Crohn's is a life-altering disease. There's so many things that keep me involved with the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. First and foremost is the patients. Living on a pain scale of nine out of 10 every single day, but still smiling and doing whatever they can to raise money to find a cure or to help others is inspiring whether it is financially or your hands, get involved and make a difference in this organization. Right now, my normal in life is pain every day. The compromises that it makes in my life is mostly social situations. Where's the closest restroom? What am I gonna do if my ostomy bag leaks? It's just always lingering in the back of your head. 
My greatest fear would be feeling like this forever and not being able to live my life the way I want to live my life. She's one of those cases that we still don't know how to treat effectively. There's still work to be done. There are still patients who need that next advancement. They need that next breakthrough. People who support the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation are giving patients hope that more research is coming and one day we'll be out of pain and live.